so proud to be wearing this wedding ring. I'm told that a secret of marriage, and for us men, a good rule of thumb, is whenever you're wrong, just admit it. And on the times you're right, stay still. <laughs> <laughs> Our first date was at a pub in Trimley in November 2008. We got on so well it was clear to me this lady would soon seal my fate. But I honestly never expected such a major change in my life and that a year and a half later, Sarah would be my wife. To me, Sarah's beautiful. She's understanding, gentle and smart. With a lovely, sweet, caring nature that truly touches your heart. She's all a man could wish for, a partner that's truly exciting. I could just go on and on with such praises, but I can't read Sarah's writing. <laughs> Folks, I'll soon be done. This speech will all soon be ended. I hope you liked it and had a smile, and I'm sorry if I offended. Before I go, some quick appreciation for those red rolls at the church. Our page boys. Thanks, we send to you. A few more names to publicly share are James and Lynn for the cake. Oh, no, thank you. Hey. And Jane for hair. Debbie M. And Debbie F for lending me out his for the day. Thank you all. You are the best. To Dan, my best man, I must also say cheers for years of fun and laughter. Though depending on what you say in your speech, dear friend, I may not speak to you after. <laughs> to Janie and Karen and all the girls, we send you our appreciation. You look lovely in your chocolate dresses, a septet of beautification. <laughs> yeah. So my time is just about finished, but before young Dan invades, Please, we'll all be upstanding and toast our fabulous bride's wedding. <laughs> 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 <laughs>